You can set up different profiles and have it all isolated in some cool little environment. And these are legitimate tools. Go login is one example of them, and there are others, but these are things that threat actors actually abuse to be able to do this session hijacking work. So let me download Go Login on our Kali Linux virtual machine. That ends up downloading a tar archive that we can go ahead and extract. And with that, we should be able to run the Go Login program. You may very well need to create an account, but hey, putting on your hacker hat, maybe we could just go to something like minuteinbox.com and get a totally disposable 10 minute email that we could use to sign up and create a new account. That should give us a trial and we could cruise through whatever silly stuff to actually get work in here. And here's the really cool thing. We can go ahead and create a profile that we could do for whatever we want. Maybe name it anything, Reddit hack for our learning. We could set up a proxy, maybe choose one that GoLogin might provide, uh, supply one of our own or work without. We could actually customize the time zone and configure this to really be what we saw in the Steeler log output, given it being an actual Steeler log, just like the user information text we saw from the Redline example. So let me look for Eastern time zone. We could add whatever browser extensions we might like, set up any bookmarks that we might like, other configurations like geolocation. Again, we could actually determine a latitude and longitude or specific places. The advanced section also lets you determine a user agent, the screen resolution that of course you saw we could use from the puzzle pieces of the log entries, and modify the platform, CPU, RAM, all that information that would be pulled from Steeler Logs. But the biggest one we're interested in is this cookies section, where if we were to import cookies in either that JSON or Netscape format, maybe I could just very well paste in everything that we saw from reddit.com from our info stealer malware running. Let me click import. And with that, uh, let's create the profile and see if we can successfully log into Reddit, at least without even logging in. Let me click run for our Reddit hack profile. We can click view. And now that has opened up this browser where I might go to reddit.com and fingers crossed, we are already at Programmer Humor. We are logged in as LeetHaxer1337 without passwords, without multi-factor authentication, strictly from the stolen cookies. Now, let me talk about why session hijacking is a difficult cybersecurity problem. 